We're going crazy like the rest of you in quarantine. And we have found that we don't have enough room in our freezer. So Chris decided that he was going to get a, what is this? Car refrigerator is what it says. 12 volt refrigerator. 12 volt refrigerator. Freezer refrigerator. Freezer refrigerator. He decided he was gonna get a 12 volt freezer refrigerator. So we're gonna bring you along while we open it up, see what we think about it. Hi, I'm Natalie. This is Chris, Bubba, and Birdie. We always seem to find ourselves on a new adventure and we try to take advantage of each one. Come along as we share a little bit about the journey. So that's what it is. What is it? It's an Alpi Cool. Alp? Alpi Cool is the name brand. It'll be on the refrigerator when we open it up. Alpi Cool. But it's the CF45 is the model number. There's a bunch of reviews and, and unboxings of these on YouTube, so I've done a bunch of research. And supposedly this is kind of a good brand. It's entry level, so it's not as fancy as a Dometic or an ARB. We're not fancy. We're pretty entry level anyways. Right, babe? Yep. Yeah. What, do you want me to help? I can't help, I'm filming. So, there you go, it's unboxed. So you see the inside, it's got a basket that you can take in and out, and this is supposed to be, so you can have this in your regular refrigerator in the house or whatever, have your stuff cold, and bring it out to your car or whatever, and put it in here. We've lost our light. 12 volt. And then you also have your 110 for the run off the house or the car. One thing that's important on these things, which it said in there, after you unpack it, you want to let it sit upright for six hours before you start. And that's due to just like even with your household refrigerators, if you lay them down flat or something when you're moving, mm -hmm. you always want to stand them up and let them sit for six hours in this case to let the oil and stuff run back down into the compressor so you don't ruin it when you fire it up. Huh. So since you don't know what FedEx did with this, it was in good condition, so it, it was probably right, but let's say they had it flipped over on the side or whatever. <clears throat> so now my lovely wife is gonna see what time it is. Probably she, right she's on, she can't see what time it is, she's on the phone. She, she's, I don't have a watch on. 14.40. 1440. So we're going to let it sit like Til this. Till 9 o'clock tonight. Until 9 o'clock tonight. Probably in the morning. And so then tomorrow we're going to, you're going to show me how we'll it works. fire it up. We'll put a bottle of water or something in it. We'll check the temperatures. The grocery stores are running out of food because people were hoarding. <clears throat> because of the Rona. So we thought we might need a freezer. So instead of just getting a deep freeze for our garage like we've had in the past, yeah. We got this one, so we could put it in the lovely Stoverlander. I right. call it the Stoverlander. For overlanding, camping, whatever you want to call it. We don't do too much overlanding. No. But we do do camping, mostly in state parks and stuff. We figured we'd get one of these, because that way we could use it for a home freezer if we needed to. Or, really, once all this calms down and we can start taking trips again, We'll have something that we don't have to buy ice for. We have a K2 cooler. And we also have a blue Yeti, which is in the Camper Dominium right now. A little Yeti. It's not very big. Which we got for free. We have a Yeti and we have a K2 cooler and they're both awesome. They keep ice. For a while. They keep things cold for about a week, but we thought we'd try this. This will be an upgrade. We I'm wanted not. to upgrade anyways. Yeah. And since we needed it for the coronavirus pandemonium, here we go. So, pandemonium, the corona apocalypse, pandemic. It's so, a mess, y'all. <clears throat> I don't know how you're gonna fit it in the Stoverlander and still have space for me to sleep. Well, I won't be able to stay in there and 
permanent. Probably have to just have to make a kid right on the hood and put it in the back seat. Oh, there you go. That'll work. I built an awesome camper. It's something. Which we're probably gonna have to do a walkthrough video of it while we're stuck in the house. Yep, we can do that. I just want it to be noted that today is a different day, even though he's wearing the same outfit. Can't tell my secrets. It's Rona, so he doesn't change. Ever. Not the same shirt though. I have about 35, of 35 of them. And they're awesome. Because it's been about, um, It hours. was 1400 yesterday when we took it out of the box. Almost 24 hours. So like 22 hours, right? Is it already that late in the day? Really oh my god. Yeah, so. This is what like happens when you hours. don't leave the house. So we're gonna plug it into 110 wall outlet power. Turn the power on. It also has one for your pickup. Press the button, turn it on. We did that. Press plus or minus for temperature setting. Which it's at zero degrees. We're going to leave it at that. But it says it's 75 degrees in there now. And we're going to go with max cool for right now because we're trying to get it down there quick. Now you can put it on, right now it's on a high battery protection mode. So what that means is if we had this in the pickup, it wouldn't allow this to drain our battery so we can start our pickup. This Wait. bottle in there, which has 16 ounces of water, which is your normal size. Water bottle? Water bottle, and we're gonna see how long it takes to freeze it. And we have started the timer. What time is it? It's 12.19. And I'll check it periodically to see how it is doing. It's like watching paint dry. It's not even cold yet, though. Should we wait until it's cold before we start freezing the water? We're not very sensitive. Well, so. some of us aren't. Some of us wear the same outfit every day. Quiet. We need to build her like a whole enclosure. <laughs> like, like Joe Exotic. We could be Joe Exotic. No. So it's been... 16 minutes and 17 minutes almost and it's down to 45 degrees already. Is that all you have to say about that? Yeah. What is that? Mom can tell you she looked it up. It's a tussock moth. Funniest looking caterpillar I've ever seen. It's trying to go to zero. What time is it? So it bounced to zero at 45 minutes, 46 minutes. Got ice on the inside, and it's starting to melt the water or freeze, to freeze the water. The water. Yep. Got ice. Crystals on the inside. There you go, the Alpi Cool CF45.